and it's like a media fire file where you have to, you're going to see this when you have loading it in Photoshop. It's like just a background that you have. It's now um, the blue with the black. But um, if you um, if you want to to make it a bit like um, let let us say if you take the um, the square here, the rectangle tool, and you want this perhaps like white. Just going to do it like this, and then it's white. So you can uh, edit. You see, same for here. If you want, like um, also a white, a white side, you just have to do it like this, and then. Um, I will remake my YouTube background. Then I did a gradient overlay which makes another color of it. This is like um it's a fade from white to black. And um yeah, you can um, you can change it like if you are going to do it like this. It's in another direction. So, um, as you can see, I have now my, um, it's a sort of template. So, as you can see, here in this black thing, there will be my videos and my channel comments. And this will be the layout of my channel. Yeah, so, you have to see it like, um, like the YouTube channel already. If you want this black a bit more transparency, if you don't like the black black, you can go to the um, opacity and you can make it like a little bit more, a little bit less than 100. Let's take um, 92. So if you want a more transparency, then you can look through your black and maybe you can put something after it like a link here or your name here so that others 
So now you just have to um, to save it, like save for web and devices, and if you do it, just do it in PNG like this because that's the best quality you have. So you, you can see it here. It has to be under 230, I think. Then you just save it. And then you put it in a location. And then you go to your YouTube channel. So this is my YouTube channel. See you guys.